Hey everyone, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and in conjunction with a written article, we are taking a look at four great time tracking apps for iPhone, so that whether you are a contractor, a freelancer, or just looking to better manage or track your time, here are some apps that can help. So starting out with number one is Timelines, and this is the only paid app on this list, at least initially paid app on this list, and it follows its names by having multiple timelines. So you can have multiple timelines visible on the screen at once, or you can separate in between each. For instance, you have one for work, type of things that you do at work, and activities, or you can have one for home, stuff like that. So if you wanted to have at work, writing, reading, etc., uh, at home, laundry, playing, watching TV, stuff like that. You can have multiple timelines and you can track your time for each. You simply go into the list, you can click on the time icon, the little clock, and it will start logging and is as simple as that. So it's really simple and intuitive. You can add new elements to your timelines uh, and you can add activities as well. You can export this and view it as a graph, which is very nice and you can split it up into the timelines as well and you can get a nice pie graph of how your data looked. You can also add manual activities if you want to do something or you've logged something that you did in the past that you forgot to do. You can also check out your events log, which shows you a list of all the activities you completed, which is a nice way to oversee all of the activities and scroll through, take a look at what you're doing and when. Now what I like about this is that you can have multiple timelines going at once, you can have multiple actions going at once. So for instance, if you were reading but also maybe listening to music or whatever, for example, you could have both of those things going at once to track multiple actions going on at the same time. And you can also set reminders for activities so you remember to log them or log them out in case you're somebody that does forget. It's a really clean, simple one, no ads, it gets the job done, and I really do like how it works and the ability to have multiple timers or logs going at once. So if you want some Something that's simple and clean and you don't mind the price tag timelines is an awesome one for tracking your time up next is hours and pay now this one is more for people with a job that you want to log the hours track in check in log out stuff like that uh, keep track of your payment really this is catered for that for keeping track of payment uh, whether it's your job or your freelance or whatever you want to do if you want to make sure that you stay reminded to clock in clock out Make sure that your pay is accurate. Keep track of how long you're working on what project or another. This is really geared towards anything that has to do with the money side of it because you can put in your pay, you can put in tips, you can put in taxes, stuff like that. You can customize it to really make sure that you're properly tracking your hours, your pay, etc. Uh, this is a really clean one. It's free, but there are upgrades, $6 to unlock a personal edition, $10 to unlock the pro edition. Uh, it's not bad. I wouldn't use this for my life, but if you're someone who wants to track pay uh, as well as other activities, this one has a great features built in to allow you to do that and keep track of money as well as time. Up next is hours time tracking. So it's similar to timelines. You can have multiple projects, uh, multiple things, but you can't have multiple things going at the same time. You have to choose one or another. So I don't really like that ability. This is also a freemium app. So it's free with a 30 day trial, uh, but to go pro or to get the, the desktop features, you have to go $7.99 a month. So that's not really great, uh, but you can use the free feature still. So if you want to use that just for its free abilities, uh, that is nice. It gives you the reports, reminders, sounds, time and date formats uh, and connects to fresh books uh, so you can use it as is or you can sign up for a free account um, receive syncing backup and web tracking it's got a nice design which I like it's pretty clean it looks nice um, it doesn't have any type of ugly elements to it and you can see the data and how it's spread out with different actions but again the fact that there is a premium subscription uh, that is basically forcing to do after a month and the fact that you can have multiple timers going at once I don't really think this is the one for me however if you're interested in the premium account or you like the design enough to use it uh, then this is a good application so you can use it free or you can pay for it um, but it's a good application with a nice design and a lot of the standard features that you're looking for but nothing that draws my attention to it over the other ones significantly and finally last we have a tracker so this is the most generic one in a sense it looks like it was made in a computer science high school class the design isn't anything fantastic the elements are not super attractive but it is the most free meaning that you can get by the best without having to pay any subscriptions it doesn't look very good but it does do the job you check out the history which is just a calendar and you can zoom in or out and then of course you can get the report with the pie graph and you can choose the data type and you also get a bar graph. So this isn't a very visually appealing application, but if you want something free and you really are just concerned with getting the times of what you're doing, then this is good for that. So these are four applications. They all have their pros and cons. Unfortunately, I haven't found any completely free, awesome applications for time tracking for your iPhone, uh, but these are four great options with their pros and cons, and they all have their different advantages or disadvantages. I think I would recommend timelines the most, 
uh, the ability that you can have multiple timers going at once is something that I really like, as well as the design is really clean and is obviously a well-made app with a lot of extra features. It is a premium application, but you can pay that once and be done, so I think that it's worth it. But if you want free, you can look at some of the other options. Anyway, let me know what you think of these. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section below, and I will link the written article on the iDownload blog down in the description if you want to check out more about each individual app. Thank you for watching.